Hey, it's Peter Reed Miller from On Sports Photography with Peter Reed Miller. And I'm here today to do uh, a critique, just an open critique. Uh, a lot of material people have sent in. Uh, got about uh, 40 images, so let's rock our way through them. Um, before I do that, I want to show you this frame. Okay, we have a new website. Uh, not a new website, excuse me, a new email. Crits at PeterReedMiller.com only JPEGs. I think we have to cut it down to three per submission because I'm just getting a lot. Attach G JPEGs to the emails. Don't put them in the body. I don't like to get them out. And put all caption and photographer information in the IPTC file, the metadata file. Uh, very easily accessed in Photo Mechanic. You can also uh, do it in Photoshop or Lightroom. So, uh, uh, that's kind of what I what I, I want you. I'll put this back up on the at, at the end too. But okay, let's get started. All right. Um, well, one thing I'll say about this is that either this gym has amazing windows or someone's got some strobes or something because the light is amazing. Uh, action is so so. I mean, this guy's running with the ball. He's not dribbling. He's not driving. The guy behind him looks a little goofy. So. You know, but amazing light. Okay, um, a little after the fact, a little after the moment. I'm going to pop in here. A little after the moment. Um, you know, the balls come through the basket. Usually those are not the shots you really want. It's nice, it's sharp. Um, but it's just, I want to see him going up with the ball, going up like that to put it in, not after he's gone in. Very nice hurdling picture. Very nice. Um, looks like hurdling in the rain, too. More fun. Uh, I I don't know. I, you know, I'm not going to go crazy cropping today. Uh, it's very well cropped. She's sharp. She's looking right at you. You want to trim it down a little bit, take a little foreground out. Yeah, you could do that, but I don't know. Take one one hurdle out there. Don't lose her hand. A little bit there. And a little in here. I don't know. It's a little bit more uh, intense, but uh, excellent shot. Really, really nice. Okay, uh, nice football. You guys are sending me good stuff. I don't know what I'm going to say anymore. Very nice football going over the line. Really caught the moment. I love the ref in there. Uh, you know, it's an excellent shot. I mean, it, it, yeah, I'm not going to say anything about it. It's, it's, uh, it's really good. Really good. Okay, track. You know, I think number one thing is, um, if at all possible, you want to be low. You want to be kneeling. I can tell this is a shot from standing. They do not look heroic. Um... It's the whole thing with the sprints, the 100 meters. Do you shoot the one guy you think is going to win? Do you shoot the seven wide in case the guy, or eight wide in case the guy in the outside lane wins? Uh, this is good. They're, they're good. I uh, have a little bit of a problem with this guy where you can't see his foot, um, which is sort of unnerving, although you can see it kind of there. But uh, everybody's, everybody's good. I mean, it's a good shot. Uh, I like the way the people over on the side are leaning in. Um, yeah, it, it's it's good. It's just like neither fit. You want to go in on one guy or go wide. I don't know, uh, but definitely low, lower. Okay, this is just one guy, and if it's one guy, you got to crop it like one guy. Again, you gotta go low. You gotta go low, and so you have a kind of a okay picture of one guy running, but not nothing that nothing all of that exciting. Okay, same thing with the hurdles. Do you go wide? Uh, do you go tight on one? We saw an excellent hurdling picture just a while ago. I think the really, um, the picture here, and this is much more extreme crop than I would really want to do, is something like that. Uh, but, you know, um, you're cropping, it's really cropping too much. It's overlapping. I think you want to be straight on the hurdles, straight on the hurdles, or shoot from the side. Shoot from the side for the first couple of hurdles when they're all together. All right, snowboarding. Uh, 
nice nice i like the little uh little blur oh am i creeping into the picture let's let me move here uh, let's go over here that's that's the thing there i am okay now i'm out of the way um yeah i like this picture excellent good crop uh good motion good action very nice uh boxing don't see a lot of that I hate that headgear though but uh this is good you got inside the headgear you got a face you got the you got the glove um you know given the circumstances i think this is an excellent shot um i kind of like the black and white i kind of like it. it gives it a little bit of a you know old-time boxing flavor so good job here <laughs> what can you say she's upside down um uh, yeah, this is great action of her. Uh, I don't know. The people, look at people in the background, though. They're just walking across the field. I mean, backgrounds are so important. And I know uh, the farther down the ladder, say, pros to college, to high school, to youth sports, the harder it is to control the backgrounds. But pay attention. Those, those two guys back there ruined this picture for me. Again, probably would have been a little bit more dramatic if it had taken from a lower angle. Uh, it's a moment here, but again, it's a moment, uh, one girl with a referee's back and four other players standing around. So it really doesn't work. She says, you know, way bunch of, of, you know, you should have, have her feet and not all this sky up here. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a moment she yelled, but nothing really special here. Ah, that is kind of special. Um... Tribulation, really, I guess. I mean, he just made a basket. I'm not quite sure what happened here. Um, did they just win? If they just won, the ref would, would still not be running. Um, if he just if he just hit a three-pointer or something. But I still think that you want a sense of place. And, I, and I, I think that's good. But I think you got maybe a little bit too much place there. Take it out like that a little bit. I like the, the bench, the people clapping. But um, maybe a little bit. But just take a little off the edges. Okay, uh, not much here. Uh, the back of the shooter, uh, the guy, the D, D guy who's playing D is out of focus. Um, the basket's out of focus. Uh, you know, it's a nice moment. The ball's just leaving his hand, but um, just not really. You know, he got a bunch of empty space on him, on one side. But there's, there's not really a picture here. Uh, almost. I mean, I, I like this, but I just, it's such a weird crop. I mean, I want to see more here. I, I don't want to see space over here. I want to see her, her face. I want to see all their hands. I don't have a tech info on this, so I don't know. But whatever lens you used, you were like one, you were like about 20 millimeters too tight. Uh, but a good capture of, of, of the emotion of uh, these women. Rugby. Um, unless it's Aussie rules, I'm not sure. And if it is, forgive me. Um, looks like rugby. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty good picture. It's a pretty good picture. Uh, usually, you see them... Usually, rugby players run with their heads down, so maybe it is Aussie rules. But uh, in any case... Um, it's pretty good. He's his eyes are not quite up, but are close, and he's got an expression. His tongue's out. His hands flying. It's it's good shot. Good shot. The guy dove for him, and you've got a clean background. You've got a clean background. Big plus. Okay, Vikings quarterback. Well, um, I would take. You know, he just got a little bit. Too much in front, I think. It's really more of a vertical picture. I know this makes kind of a square picture, but I, I don't know. It's, it's again, it's a layout kind of a picture. Uh, it's sharp. It's got you got great light. Was that um, was that from when the Vikings played outside? I don't know. That that year they were waiting for the stadium. In any case, it's a nice shot. It's clean. It's a you know a football card shot. Um, good good clean action where you can see the face. Uh, almost. Yeah, this, oh, this is Vikings at Chargers. Okay, okay. I get it. Yeah, the road uniforms, duh. Yeah, there was some nice light there. Um, 
Too bad they're not playing there anymore. This is a great shot. Half of it is. Um, you just gotta, you know, accept the fact that you're gonna cut this guy in half and forget about the rest of that picture. Even uh, this leg kills you, but, you know, this is the picture right here. His face, him coming at you. The rest of it is, is really just out of focus crap, and um, uh, it's too bad you can't just get a better crop on it. But it's nice action on, on number 23. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is excellent. This is really nice. Um, you know, you pick up a lot of blue there at that with the charger stuff around, but this is a, a very nice moment. And uh, yeah, this is a picture. It's a good picture. Excellent picture. Okay, yeah, that looks like rugby. Somewhere where people live on the hills. Somewhere not here. Um, it's nice. Again, you could crop it a little bit tighter, I think. Um, you know, just just a little bit. But, but it, just, it just brings it out a little bit more, you know. Um, but excellent action. Great action. I've shot these things. I, I never get them right. Um, but obviously, there's somebody who knew the game. So, um, nice. Nice. Uh, yeah. Again. Nice. So horizontal, though. I mean, I, you know, I, I suppose this is this is the goal, but still. I, I just want to crop this, even though it's going to be, like, crazy horizontal. Maybe we just cut him off there. It's not too terrible. Because that's, that's, there's so much white space up there, you know. Um. It's still too horizontal, but uh, I don't feel like there's as much white space, but uh, it's a great, another great action. This, this is great stuff. Um, okay, needs a big crop uh, to start with. Um, you know, it's kind of a cloudy day. You really need to brighten these things up when, when, they're, when it's cloudy like this. Okay, turn that off, yeah. Um, this could have a lot more snap to it. Uh, and all right, it's still it's like the you know third baseman's in the foreground. He's really it's just not enough of a lens. He's not that focused on him, um, and the ref is just kind of walking back there, which which hurts you a lot. I'd like to see him doing a little bit more. It's not bad, but um, you know because he's in the air again, it'd be pos if it was possible for you to be lower, he'd look more dramatic. Okay, good classic basketball. Both feet off the ground, ball in the hand. Nothing I can say about this except nice job. Um, really nice. Classic. Wouldn't don't want to crop it. Don't want to change anything. You got it. You nailed it. Okay, this guy's running, but there's too much other stuff in the picture. I mean, uh, all I can say on this, I mean, yeah, he's looking back, but this guy's so far away, and there's so much stuff in the background that really... Something more like that. It's it's good on him. It's it's good on him running, but let's take that guy out. You know, it's really a solo uh, a solo shot, and just trying to make it into something else, it's just it's just not gonna. I, I like it though. It's sharp. He's both feet off the ground, um, and so he's looking back. That's great. You know, it's a given that he's looking back at somebody. So you don't have to show that person if they're way far away and out of focus. You know, that's a good shot. Um, just not enough here. Um, the, who's ever blocking you on the on the uh, left side of the frame? It just, I, I just don't have enough. I have a little bit of a coach, and maybe that's all you could get because I know what it's like to shoot behind a basketball bench in a timeout. But it just doesn't have any real focal point. If you could see the play more, if you're up over, I mean, if if if, but not. Ah, this is nice. This is nice in your face. And I think it's nice wide. I, I I mean I don't I don't see it's you could kind of maybe crop it, but I don't think so. I love this guy hitting the ground. Uh, everybody is really going all out here. Um, very very nice. I like I like this. Oh, even better. Um, yeah, they are they're going for it again. It's nicely framed between the two girls. I wouldn't try and crop her out. There's too many odd bits. I mean, yeah, you know, you know me, I'm gonna try. See if we come down here, because we got clear over here. And we take this gal out like maybe even there. Uh, maybe about there. 
Oh, looking at about there. Um, you could do that. You could do that, and it's a nice solo shot. I mean, it kind of depends on what you're trying to show here. But um, but it's it's very nice either way. Whoever did this knows knows his sport, his or her sport. Uh, it's okay basketball. It's okay. Um, you know you're you know you're in the high school gym. You got always got all this crap in the background. But he's sharp. He's got the ball. He's going on a layup. He's got a defender in his face. Um, I like it. It's a good shot of that player, and it's it's a good shot. It's it's good for under the circumstances. You're in bad light, flat light, whole deal. Uh, but it's 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 nice. It's good. Ah, oh, more boy. I've seen more more of this stuff than I've, I've ever seen in a, in a critique. Uh, this is a little bit hard to figure. I mean, I, I get what's going on here, uh, but it, it doesn't. I mean, the guy in green that this guy looking so kind of like well befuddled is a little bit and then the guy's grabbing for the ball that's that's cool but this guy sort of ruins it as, as a picture and again you could make it tighter but it wouldn't make it a lot better oh looks like the same kid doing the same shot <laughs> what, what what and he's against 33 is that part of a sequence is that the next frame almost might be you know you got to pick one you gotta pick, don't send me three pictures that you took right in order just because they're all in focus. This is a better picture than the other one. This has got more action. Look at the spatial expression. Much better. I even consider taking this like down like to here and get that other guy out of there. Because then you can see his face. I think that's a better picture. You not, I mean, we like to show all the body parts. We don't like to cut them off, but there are times when there's a picture inside the picture, and this is the picture in that picture. Um, yeah, this is okay. I mean, it's broken bat, but uh, shutter speed, which I don't see here, unfortunately, is too slow. You, you, you're, you're, it's blurred. His face is blurred. The bat's completely blurred. So that really kills you on that. Um, it's a moment, you almost caught it, that bat's pretty far away, but it just, uh, his head's a little down, so that being said, it's, it's, you know, almost, almost, nice moment, but not, uh, not execution. Um, all right, well, <clears throat> I guess if this is the winning basket of the game, um, even still, with the basket in there, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You gotta, you have to be over. You have to be able. You, I don't know. I don't like this. I mean, I, I get the moment. Everybody's on the, on the, everybody's standing. It's, it's big, big thing, you know. But, um, that basket going through that, that backboard is just a little, little much, a little much. Okay. <laughs> Good old hockey. No sticks, no puck, but it's hockey. You know, it's hockey. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a good moment. The ref's ducking, um, you know, maybe a little tighter here. Uh, like that, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Something like that. It, it's a little unclear because this guy's head is so buried in there, but... but um, but it's a good moment. I mean, it's a hockey fight. And that's they're always fun. Okay, that's nice. It's a goal. Overhead. Uh, nice. But again, you know, way too much ice. Too much ice. This is a picture here. We just go down to there. And we come in a little bit here. We come in a little bit here. And then we do that. That's a picture. That's the winning goal. So that, that part of it's nice. Just too much wasted space there. Uh, good, good hockey. Uh, the puck right there. Again, getting that, I was never any good at hockey, but uh, yeah, getting that puck and the whole thing. Very nice. Nice job there. Uh, yeah, again, nice with the goalie in the air, pretty much. Trying to make a save. Got the puck. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Well cropped. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, okay. You're showing the whole thing. You're showing the whole thing. I, I probably would have cut a little bit off the bottom, but maybe not. Maybe not. It is a moment, and uh, you've got a good you got a good look at it. I love it. You can see all those people applauding, all the love and, and joy in their faces and beer. Um, and so, uh, nice job. I like it. I like it. Uh, you know, again, I think this is something where we don't need the peat. We don't need the basket. We just need these two guys going at it. And, I mean, one thing about basketball, people f seem to feel they need to leave the basket in. I don't know, it doesn't, it, but a lot of times it's a given. They're not jumping around with a basketball to not throw it at the basket, but that doesn't really work that well. So, um, you know, you got a good shot there. It's, there's always that guy in the background who's looking. I, I had two Sports Illustrated covers of different uh, different plays, the same player uh, being like the third guy looking up as the as somebody goes up for a layup and I uh, can't remember who it was but uh, same guy, same position two different games, two different teams same thing okay, great baseball, really nice uh, you can tighten up a little bit but um, you know, you want to show how far he is off the ground uh, your background is your background can't do much about that you know, um, but very nice action really nice action uh, just doesn't read. I mean, I like the moment. Everybody's perfectly together, but, you know, you got a sign over here. You got people in the background. You got walls. It, it's not, it's just, it's not reading. If, if you were tighter on one of them or if you were around this end so you could, uh, you could shoot, line them up more, but otherwise it, it, it doesn't really, it doesn't really read. Ah, another great hockey shot. Great. Puck coming right in there. Really, really nice. Rangers, too. I uh, got a friend who's a big Ranger fan. But, um, yeah, this is this is great. Not much I can say about this except uh, good job. Good job. Um, okay, this is a little bit better. I don't know if this is the same photographer, but this is, you know, and I shot some of these, these sports um, in the Olympics, and they're tough because these guys are fast. They're quick, and these things only happen... These peak moments like that really only happen just very quickly. So nice for that. Uh, let's see if we can clean it up a little bit. Get some of those people out of the background. Um, and I think that will help you in terms of that. I know it's pretty grainy, but, um, you know. I saw 14,000. Hey, party on. F5-6 with a, a Nikon. Wow. Well, if you had any more... Uh, aperture, you should have used it, but uh, still, it's nice action. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of one of those things. I mean, it's kind of a cute picture. It's well cropped. You got a clean background. I like that. Uh, it, but it's soccer, and the ball is not supposed to be in the guy's face. Really, it's supposed to be more on the ground, or not. No, I'm, I'm, I'll take that back. But it's just very strange. The strangeness outweighs uh, the good things in this picture to me. Just an opinion. But it, it's it's sharp and clean background. Two things I really like. Okay, again, this is pretty good. This is pretty good football. You know, you're, you're looking at high school football. You're not going to get a lot of great light. And, of course, white and dark blue uniforms. you got to love that. White helmet. Um, you know, I, I, I think this is, this is pretty nice. I'd like to see a little bit more leg action from number three. He's like he's kind of turning along but but um good job yeah ah the weirdness of basketball yeah uh this is a very good shot uh it's just funny that that guy sticks his arm up so much you can't crop it you got a mile of empty stands in the background and walls and everything but nevertheless it's it's excellent shot and you did you cropped it as best you could Uh, good soccer, good soccer. Headers like that are very hard to capture, I know, from <laughs> experience of not capturing them. So, um, yeah, this is a this is a good job. It's a little, uh, what is it, ISO 320. It's just a little blown out. I mean, I guess I would see it a little bit, you know, take the exposure down a little bit. It just has that quality. It doesn't, doesn't, you know, it doesn't look solid. But it's excellent action. Very nice, very nice. 
Ah. Uh, okay. I, the only thing I can do with this is, is do what I do. The rest of nothing else matters in this picture. This is your picture. Right here. Nothing else matters. You don't need all, any of the other. You can take, you can change the proportion a little bit, take it down a little bit, but no, it's got them right there. So great action, but you just got, just got to go in on it. All right, let's take a look. Um, wow, well, that was it. Uh, okay, I'm going to show you the still again. So, crits, C R I T S at PeterReedMiller.com. JPEGs only. Three. Three per submission. Attach the JPEGs to the emails. Don't put them in the body of the email. I hate that. Um, and um, and if you go to that crits uh, email address, you're going to be sure that I'm going to get your pictures. Because sometimes stuff gets buried. I get a lot of email. Most of it is junk. And some days I feel like going through everyone, and some days I don't. So, um Last but not least, put all your caption and phot photographer information in the IPTC or metadata file. I don't really have time to read all the emails when I look at the pictures because I look at them in Photo Mechanic. So they've been stripped off the emails, put into a folder, put into Photo Mechanic. Really nice bunch of photography. Um, these critiques, I guess I've been doing them about a year or so now. The work has gotten a lot better. Uh, keep it up. I know this is a very, very difficult time for all of us uh, in many, many ways. But in one thing, if we're a sports photographer, there's nothing for us to shoot. So uh, stay safe, stay healthy, stay sane. Uh, we'll see better days. Good shooting.